Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul Uduma. Welcome to this video. A few months ago when I started this channel, I made a promise to my subscribers and possible uh, prospective um, students of UNN that um, I'm going to document every single important um, step of my admission process and my schooling process as well. And um, yeah, this is me actually starting to keep the promise apart from the fact that I've been documenting and posting videos on very important aspect of UNN and student life. I am going to divert a little bit into my personal life as a student in UNN. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, the thing is that um, as a student of any university, um, you, school life is divided into three segments, okay? Um, the resumption segment, that is before lectures begin, and the lectures segment, and also after the lectures, after the end of the lectures, we have the exams period, okay? So, but for now, as at the time of making this video, this should be um, the first week of January, between 5th or 6th or 7th, around that period. And um, UNN have not um, resumed lectures yet, so we are in the resumption phase before the start of the lectures and right now I've been able to pay um, most of I, I think all I've been able to pay all my um, fees or my finance or everything that I need to pay for like um, fees like faculty dues like department um, uh, faculty development dues said as faculty dues I've been able to pay pans association dues okay I've been able to pay virtually everything that I need to pay and next week that will be doing clearance I will, I will do my clearance and everything will be out of my chest like and that is one thing that is unique about UNN UNN you have to do your clearance and clearance is normally for your one student so when you come into school they'll ask you for some documents they'll ask you for a lot of documents that currently are showing on the screen right now you, you they'll ask you for those documents if you don't have them you start running around getting them one by one if you if you have time because me, I had a lot of time because of the strike period. So if you don't have them, you can actually get them in a week or in a month. Apart from that, you have to get a lodge, okay? So I was able to get a lodge, thanks to God, because where I got the lodge was actually very, very funny. I actually um, asked somebody in my faculty group that was created by very very private person that was not part of the administration of the school and the guy actually was leaving his lodge and he gave me his lodge so i was able to get a cheap lodge uh, at a at a record time so you have to get your lodge and you have to get a lodge that is close to school mine is not that close to school mine is like 15 minutes walk away from my lecture hall so i have to wake up at least 15 minutes i have to leave my house at least 15 minutes before the beginning of the lecture so that is just it you have to get a lodge you have to get your documents ready you have to make sure that you have um, a few people you can ask questions okay that is why i will be creating a whatsapp group for unn for prospective unn students so, so if you are watching this and you're not a student of unn try to look at the description box below you find a whatsapp um, link that whatsapp link you can add yourself in the whatsapp link and then you can ask any relevant question about unn and unn stuff i'll try as much as possible to also post that link on existing unn whatsapp group so that people that are UNN students can actually join the link so people can exchange information I'll be there as well so I'll be able to participate and answer questions that I can actually answer if I have time because you know that pharmacy as a matter of fact being a student time consuming and being a pharmacy student is time wrecking because you have to stand out pharmacy students are normally students that stand out in in rest of Nigeria and rest of Nigeria and Suka yes medical students in at UNEC they stand out so we tend to be a little bit more um, time conscious compared to other departments. I'm not saying that other departments are not time conscious. I'm just saying that being a first child, like being a first child, you have to to stand out. And being a pharmacy student in University of Nigeria is like being a first child. So you have to stand out because UNN pharmacy is a little bit more technical than the other departments. The same thing with being a first child. Being a first child is more technical than 
um, being the second, the third, or the last child. Okay, so I'll try as much as possible to participate in that WhatsApp group as much as I can, as much as I have time. Okay, and also you can also say thank you to to me for all this by supporting this video by subscribing or supporting this channel by subscribing and also supporting the ministry by donating as little as you can. Okay, so apart from the WhatsApp number, I also have you also have my account number below in the description section so you can also donate nothing to too small being a student at the university of nigeria is very very expensive i need every help that i can get from my subscribers from my friends from my family members nothing is too small so if you have something in your heart that god have asked you to donate to this ministry please don't hesitate okay please don't hesitate now this is the first of the series of my life as a year one student of university of nigeria and Suka and what to expect so this is the first in the series i'm going to create i'm going to create a playlist on what to expect like i said there are three phases the first phase is resumption the second phase is lectures and the last it the last phase is exams i'm not going to post my exams how the exams was because exams always have this stuff that actually make people feel uncertain and stuff like that but i'm going to try as much as possible to post videos on lectures and how lectures are done in the university of nigeria and suka thank you for watching um if you have not subscribed to this channel and you're a prospective youth student of unn please try as much as possible to subscribe just click the subscription button proof it will not change anything even if you're not a student of unn or a prospective student of unn i want to know what is happening around the university system of nigeria i also post videos um informations on stuff that affects the nigerian student as a whole so you can also support and even if you're not a student at all you just want to support this channel one subscription can go a long way to make this channel great i don't know if you're hearing the good sound in the background of my video actually that good i think they need to kill that good because that good i don't know i don't know but <laughs> I hope it doesn't really affect the information I'm trying to disseminate because that goat, I'm sure that goat is hungry and the and the owner of the goat doesn't want to feed it. I don't know. Is it is it I don't know, is either the goat is hungry or the goat is honey. I don't know. Either of the two of them. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching to this time. I'll see you in the next one.